Okay, so what we could do then is square this all up and you could install this and then we could add this just for a nail it. Good morning. We are up and off to the races right away today. It's uh, about eight in the morning, and we have uh, we've just been knocking stuff out right away. Uh, so as you can see, I'm already my shirt's already dirty. So it's a good start to the day. We are we are building the rest of the shower. And we're going to start plumbing it as well as drilling the hole through the bottom of the van to actually drain the shower out into the gray water tank underneath. And then we're going to keep going on that driver's side of the van and keep building back and back and back until we make it back to the bunk. So next up, we're going to build where our refrigerator is going to be under as well as where the standing desk area is going to be. And I think that'll be really cool. The shelves that go over the top of the bed, and then we're going to actually build the bed itself. And then we should have almost all the furniture built and in before the end of the day. And that is amazing. Big, big steps today. Super excited to see how far we get. Everybody's in a good mood. It's just... I think we're gonna knock out a lot of stuff today. Okay, so more ladder construction going on today. So we basically screwed two ladders back to back together, make this nice strong wall to be able to fit our plumbing into. Uh, and then what's gonna go right next to it is another small ladder that's gonna go out here, come up and over, and then go back down right before the bed. And that'll be for our extra countertop and our refrigerator is gonna sit right underneath it. So we're just building ladders and putting quarter inch plywood on them. And that's basically going to be the uh, framing for everything that we have in here. We are getting ready to drill a hole into the bottom of our van now. So we got this 2 and 5 eighths inch drill bit. And that guy is going to go right where this nicely marked hole is. Straight down through the van, through the wood, and then into the insulation, and then through the metal all the way out the bottom. Our gray water tank is going to be under there. Uh, and then that's going to all connect through. And this is sort of a mock-up of how our, how our piping is going to look on the way down. So this is going to go down, this is going to go into our shower, into the drain of there, all the way down, and then tighten up real snug with this nice bolt. So unfortunately we hit a bit of a setback. Um, we have to take the framing that we put in for our shower out. Um, because we realized that the drain for our shower pan um, is directly above a strut in our van, or the bottom of our van. So um, we drilled a pilot hole, did some measurements, and realized we actually have to move our shower about three inches back towards the van, which is a bit of a bummer because we got a lot done yesterday and the shower was really coming together with the framing and the paneling. Um, yeah. So the mood is a little bit heavy and sad right now as we start to remove these, but hopefully now that we have this measurement and we know exactly where the drain goes, this process will go much easier. So after removing all the panels yep. again, we're having some deja vu because now we're adding a couple more batten strips. Yep. Because our shower moved a little bit back. Whoopsies. So, whoopsies. No problem. Took us five minutes to take down the thing. Not a big deal. So and now our van has more structure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at how strong this thing is now. Trying to see the brighter side. <laughs> yeah. I think it's great. So that's our last batten strip being cut over there. We're going to throw that in, and then we're just going to put the panels back on. And Three start... inches to the left. Yep. Start screwing things back together. Pull two. Where? That Dead extra nails. Nails. clean up, tear down, put up through five minutes. We can get it done. <laughs> yep, just like that. The walls are back on. Put in that wall three inches that way. Yep. After we get that wall set, we'll just take our dimensions, move it down, and put that second wall back up. The walls are already constructed, so it's going to go up <laughs> just like that. Got a hole. Nice. So Josh just finished nailing in the side paneling for our shower. Yep. What we're using is the same quarter inch plywood that we painted white. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going on the first part of the wall and then we're going to add some vinyl sheeting to make it waterproof for the inside of the shower. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, I think it'll turn out great. It already looks really good. Very structural. We have about 750 extra holes in our walls. Uh, but other than that, yeah. looks great. <laughs> I always say I want to learn actually how to do things. And part of that means making mistakes. Yeah. We're just trying things over and yeah. over again until you get it right. And it was a small mistake in the grand scheme of things. We had to take a wall off. Probably won't be the last time we do it before the end of this build. Oh yeah. So. We've done <laughs> that many a time. Right. It's deja vu indeed. Not a big deal. That's why you use screws. Don't nail everything. Here we go. some baking going on with some plumber's putty. We're baking. You have the bacon, bacon and cake? With plumber's putty. Look at that roll. That's a fine looking roll. Rubber goes against the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is a washer so that. What does that mean, Ada? It's just cardboard. Oh. And the purpose of it is just so that when I can tighten this knot, it doesn't grab on that rubber. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now it's sealed in there. I just gotta tighten it up. Water test. Water testing the tub. It's gonna tilt over. Some drippy drips. Yeah, it's coming. That's because this isn't sealed up quite a hundred percent. It's not coming from the sides, at least. It appears. The, the sides look pretty tight. Yep. There's no water there. Paint shop temporarily reopened. It's always open. <laughs> One more panel. It's always open. Looking good. That won't take too long. No. This will clean up this dirt that's in here. Yeah. I don't worry about that. That looks nice and tight. Yep. Let's just pull out this sticker here. Now it's ours. Unpackaged our new stove, which is going to sit nicely on our countertop. Flame King. Since we got our low pressure regulator and some propane, I'm gonna hook things in up and see what happens. Okay, now that's connected. I'm gonna go get some propane. That'll do. It's pretty large. Okay. Take the other side, connector, gonna open it a little bit, there we go. Let's see, let's test the baby one. It works! Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah. That looks wide Solar enough to fit here. on the roof, huh? Solar panels here, very exciting. Opening time. Only 150 watts, I don't know, I think I might I think I might get another one of these. I'm not sure. We're gonna see how one does. Not that we get any sun where we are anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> the packaging is so minimal for a giant sheet yeah, of glass. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. But. Like I think your ring, silicone rings came with more packaging. <laughs> yeah. Let's yep. pull that up. Very nice. There she 
is. Mr. Sun is very happy to see you. <laughs> Where are you going? Well, first I gotta clean off the roof. There's a bunch of junk up there. What kind of junk? Uh, you know, the junk guy. Oh. <laughs> so I'm gonna need a broom first. Okay, I'll hand you a broom. Thank you. And then, and then, uh, then I'm gonna need that big old solar panel. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay, broom. Broom, please. Wonderful. Ah, cool. We're gonna have to do this. A lot once the solar panels are up to clean them off. Yeah. You're gonna get junk on them. That might be your duty. I'll sweep the inside where it's close to the ground. <laughs> oh boy. Yay. I feel like I have to constantly monitor this ladder. How heavy is that thing? 50 pounds, I guess. Whoa. Oh my God. Just connecting it the first time just to make sure that, you know, the panel actually works. Do we got sun? We got any? More than zero sun. Are you getting any? Yep, I got enough. Okay, who wants to look at the monitor inside and see if it shows some sun? Your dad's on it. Great. What do you mean? No, it's not showing anything right now. It's showing 0, 0.0? Yeah. Ah, because we haven't connected the other half. Good. Into the actual uh, controller. Right. Oh. So the solar panel uses this super cool MC4 connector, which is just, you just cram it right in. You just plug it directly into the female end of it. There's no termination. You don't have to wire nut it, nothing like that. It just goes right in. And that is super cool because you can quick connect, quick disconnect, and do a lot of work on these things quickly without needing to terminate cables. I'm impressed by this thing so far, even though it might not fit on our roof. Sure, hope this thing fits on our roof. It seems like it's gonna, but I think we're gonna have to do like one of the sides using a bracket and the other side using something that we build ourselves. Not a bad thing, just means that we gotta get a little creative with this. There's something going on back there. I can't see what. Okay, I think I'm ready to mount this thing. We just plugged it in for the first time. We got a whopping 15 watts out of it, because as you can see, we get, we don't really get much sun here. Uh, so. Um, I have the I have the ears on it right down there. I have the ears on it, and those things line up really well with the holes. Um, I need to widen those holes a little bit to fit the bolts that fit into my roof rails, and then I have to go get some spacers on the other side to make sure that it's nice and flat and even all the way across. Because um, the these little Z brackets on this side, I'm only going to use them on this side because on this side, the mounting holes perfectly line up with the roof rails. So I just need to make my bolts just a little bit taller. So I need about a three quarter of an inch or so boost out of there to make it work. So I'm gonna run to the run to the hardware store and go pick those up. I think I figured out how we're gonna mount this thing. So we're gonna put uh, two of the brackets on one side to be like off the end, and then two of the brackets on the other side pointing like towards and at the back of the van. We're going to basically attach the bolt underneath uh, with the elevator bolts that we made and then the one that actually goes into the panel is gonna be the one that it ships with. So that should hold it pretty tight. We're gonna put all that together and see if it works. I bought these little Renegy, um, Renegy Z brackets for mounting the actual solar panel onto our roof rails. Now, the solar panel itself is just a hair smaller than the actual van that we have. I was hoping it would fit exact, but it didn't. So good thing that I got these. Now, what we're gonna do is, so on one side, uh, this panel is gonna brush up right over the middle of our roof rails, that opening where we have them. So we need to open up this hole a little bit to be able to fit the bolt through it. And then this bolt is gonna be on our roof rails, and this is the one that's gonna connect directly into the, uh, into the solar panel to hold it nice and tight. Same on the other side, just like that. Now down here, at the other end, um, and this is the this is the HQST 150 watt panel that you can just get on Amazon or anywhere else. So if you get the same thing, this might be how you mount it. Link there it below. There are lots of ways to mount these things, but this is this is one of them. We'll link it below. So on the other side, uh, this one is going to be the one that holds it into the panel. We need to make these holes a little bit bigger 
and then the roof rail is going to be right here and that's where our big bolts are going to go through holding it up this panel is upside down right now and then same thing over here it's going to look just like that and then once we tighten all those nuts and bolts down should be just rock solid on top of there we got gigantic elevator bolts that lisa wonderfully made for us that fit perfectly into our um into our roof rails and then we're just going to put a lock uh, a big fender washer on top of that and then a big nylon lock nut on top of that really tighten it down as far as we can go and then should be good and we'll just plug it in and give it a shot You have one lock washer, so we got four of those, which is good. We got eight washers. So that's good. So we're gonna use two washers per. This is kind of how the solution looks. So there's you can see these ones, these two ones down here. This is where the roof rails are gonna be, right there. And then right down here, we're only gonna be able to get one bolt in, but should hold fine. And then these on both sides. So that's what that looks like. Alright, let's bring her up there. Okay, bring her up. <sighs> Oh, you're gonna have to support the bottom a little bit. Okay, I got it. Yep. Thank you. I'm gonna go back over to the other side. Don't scratch the shit. Okay, here it is. Now we gotta do is uh, bolt it down. Put this on drill. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we have a deep enough socket. Okay, there we go. This solar is on there now. Tighten down everything super tight. I don't think that's ever going to move. Uh, so, yeah. That thing is staying there. All right now, we just got to button up the wires a little bit there. We'll probably just, like, tape them down to the top of the van. I think we're done. Okay, now, to get these wires to stay tight, you got to stick a wrench on those and tighten them really, really tight. And the tighter that they get, <clears throat> the more they clamp around these wires right here. And once they clamp around them, they can't move in or out and they just become fully waterproof, which is exactly what we want. And then we're just gonna hide these things under here, put some sort of adhesive over the top of these just to keep them right there. That's it. Move. Going in, Lisa. We have a hole. We have a hole. Nice. All right, so and just one hole. Yeah, where in, it belongs. In the right place. Yeah. 